Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we'll be big box store plant shopping at Walmart on Lake Road in McKinney, Texas. Um, thank you for always tuning into the live premiere chats and just for the live premieres, all of the plant foldies, which, which is what I call my um, viewers and subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. Please make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Grow Folds. And today we are going to be walking through this Walmart. Um, as you guys know, I went ahead and posted a video about Walmart's restock in Dallas. So it looks like the Dallas Fort Worth areas, um, at least at these Walmarts, are starting to get restocked again with new trending tropicals plants. So we're going to see what plants they have. And as you can see right off the bat, look. There are so many plants here. It is jam packed with so many plants. And this is why I like going to this Walmart. And yep, you can see that there is another table full of plants. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and walk through this area and just kind of pan over before I go into the details of the plants. But you can already see there are a bunch of trending tropicals right over here. Um, if you saw, there is a philodendron golden violin. And then we have a ton of large um, foliage plants right over here so i love that a lot so there's already this one whole full section and then we also have this section that is just jam-packed with plants we'll definitely walk through and and look at all of the plants right over here and i will tell you the plant ids that's the thing um plant foldies or what i call my viewers and subscribers i am so excited to just share plants with you guys every day i know it's a little bit tedious to get these videos um, filmed edited voiceovered and all of that good stuff but it is worth your while um, when you know we have a whole community growing over here so all i ask is if you can please make sure you are um, smashing that like button or that's what one of my cheerleaders luke says on the live chats smashing the like but button to support these videos i would definitely love for it to reach more people so our plant community can grow but as you can see do you guys see all of these plants like there is rows and rows of plants we've got an entire 20 feet of um, large plants right here and then another 20 feet of um, plants for just different varieties there was already a shipper of plants um, from costa farms with exotic angel plants so we're going to definitely look at that as well but um, just wanted to give you an overall panning of it and then for all of the plant foldies that have been also watching the local plant nursery tours thank you so much for that definitely watch the plant in um, plant keeper incorporated um, plant nursery as well as my most recent one the plants and planters one that premiered last night so anyways you can see that there are so many plants here the only thing i have um and this is just me being nitpicky is um i wish they would have styled the plants a little bit better but if you have so many plants i guess they just have to find spaces to put them in but as you can see right off the bat um we have a philodendron heteraceum lemon lime or a philodendron um I guess cordatum lemon lime, whichever one you want to call it, please give me um, a comment or the actual technical term for that. But I have been looking for this hanging basket for a while. I ended up finding one earlier um, today, actually, and I was able to get it. But I'm super excited to finally get a full hanging basket of um, lemon dime cordatum. And then right over here, we have a staghorn, uh, staghorn fern beautiful looking staghorn fern in a hanging basket and guys these are also for 1984 these hanging baskets so i really like that um very cost effective hanging baskets for sure i have been able to grow some hanging baskets in my home now because i was able to find these command um hooks or li like um hooks that can carry up to 33 pounds and none of my my plants have fallen so far so Hopefully they will stay um, on and glued on to the ceiling versus having to um, nail um, holes into the ceiling because I didn't really want to do that. But you can see right over here, this is an Epipremnum Arium Neon Pothos. Beautiful looking one. So like I um, have both and I'm just very fortunate that I was able to get both um, Neon Pothos and the Lemon Lime um, Philodendron Heteraceum. And then right over here, I haven't seen this yet, is a Skindapsis Hanging Basket by... Um, garden expert for 1097 which is basically the um, name brand for outdoor and indoor plants um, by walmart but it is actually sourced out by costa farms um, but you can see right over here look at these neon plants these yellow looking plants love it so much so now i've got a philodendron um, golden crocodile these two plants and a philodendron golden violin so i've got a lot of yellow plants 
Um, they definitely bright up any space that you um, put them in. And then right over here, we have a Begonia Rex um, or Rex Begonia. This one is really nice. And you can see this one is actually happy because it is actually blooming. So with Rex Begonia, they do bloom. Um, so please uh, make sure that you are giving it the proper care. With Rex Begonias, their leaves and their stems especially do not like to be watered. Otherwise, they will end up like shriveling up and just rotting. Um, it's best to actually um, bottom water them them but in a hanging basket you just have to be very careful not to water their um, stems or their canes so just some um you know plant care tips that i want to sprinkle over for y'all and as you can see i'm going to pan out even more so right over here look at how beautiful these hanging baskets are this is an epipremnum arium pearls and jade um for 1984 as well um it's a pearls and jade, but it looks more like an enjoy just because a pearls and jade would have more um, speckling in the variegation. This one has more sectoral variegation, but nonetheless, it is a potho, so it'll be easy to grow. It can tolerate lower light conditions. It is more of a vigorous grower, although this particular one um, is a little bit slower as compared to the other pothos. And then we find another beautiful hanging basket of epi, I mean, um, philodendron, heteraceum, lemon lime just love how beautiful the yellow leaves are and then just the heart-shaped leaves are gorgeous as well um, so it's one of those plants that i would highly recommend for any novice or beginners um, who are just getting into house plants definitely consider that and i do love the hanging baskets these hanging baskets are a little bit heavier with the terracotta on it though or the um, ceramic planters and then right over here we have a belgian waffle plant in a hanging basket this is the first time I've actually seen a waffle plant in a hanging basket, but nonetheless, this is a gorgeous one. I do like the Belgian waffle plant just because it does have more of these like tan caramel variegation, cream variegation, pink variegation, and then purple variegation as well. So there's a, a lot of colors happening. I have a snow white, um, waffle plant and I have a, a just a purple waffle plant um, this is one that I'm really looking forward to getting some at some point and then we have a Tredscanthia Ali Biforla Flora um, right over here I do like this one as well just the white margins on the leaves are very nice um, it's an easy one to grow so with Tridscanthia they do get a little bit leggy so what you're gonna have to do is make sure that you're pinching back the the growth so you encourage more bushing and growth these are very easy to propagate you can literally just um, cut a piece off put it directly in the soil a week later it'll root or you can put it in water but I've got a couple of um, cuttings of this one particularly growing in Lekka and they've started to root up and really develop Right over here, we have a trailing mistletoe cactus. This is actually super cool just because it looks very delicate. It um, almost reminds me of like a Hoya Lineares, but a smaller form. Look at that. It, it, it doesn't even look real to me. And all of these hanging baskets, again, are for 1984. Not bad at all. And so this Walmart is definitely stocked. So for anybody living in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, especially in McKinney, Prosper, Frisco, Plano area definitely check out this Walmart because this Walmart typically is packed with plants and I knew that if I saw one Walmart in this area getting restocked this one was definitely going to be restocked um, so I'm super excited about that um, we have an Alocasia Jacqueline that I found right over here super excited about that i actually am glad that i was able to get an alocasia jacqueline as it was actually coming off of the palette and getting unboxed um because the thing about um alocasia jacqueline they just kind of look like they are they're sick but you know apparently they do have a little bit of yellowing on their leaves like this one i guess is a perfectly normal one or that's what i'm assuming and this one is a trending tropicals costa farms um, plant release in a self-watering planter so i love that and this is for 1984 if anybody's looking for this alocasia definitely get it when it is just right off of the restock so that one's a beautiful leaf right as over there i have quite a bit of alocasia now in my collection and they're doing very well i think the self-watering planters definitely help and then we also have another monster adansonii right over here i ended up picking one up just because the ones that costa farms uses are the wide form and they look super cool but guys this one is the trending tropical of the hour this is a 
um, philodendron golden violet or a philodendron benefilum. I guess that's what you would call them. Maybe um, uh, golden uh, golden violin. But this one is a beautiful one as well. Um, I do love the leaves. The, as they mature, though, the leaves get even more um, of a different shape. Um, but you definitely have to grow it up a moss pole or some type of plank. It likes to grow upwards. Same thing with this plant right here. This is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. Um, this one has been around for a while. Honestly, I would love to get one from Trending Tropicals just because of self-watering planters that Walmart has. But I... Um, and probably gonna just wait to get a variegated form because the tetrasperma variegated form is absolutely stunning and it looks like we have another um Monsera adansonii right over here these are quite common um now but the wide form is actually nice if you go to another big box or like um home depot or even lowe's they have the the narrow form kinds and i actually prefer the wider form ones um they, they just have bigger leaves so that's really cool but we're gonna go move some of these trending tropicals right over here we have a philodendron golden violin so plant foldies let me know what you guys think so far about the walmart restocks if you guys are in a different state or a different city or just area of the country or even out of the country let me know what plants you guys are seeing in big box stores because um, i am seeing quite a bit of interesting ones already getting released and it is not even full-blown spring yet so can you only imagine when it is actually warmer in weather what kind of costa farms um releases but like even this alocasia jacqueline the thing about these jacqueline's though i really do hope that somebody will pick up these plants there's so many plants to choose from especially at this location look at how beautiful all of these monstera adansonii are and even this right over here we see this often this is a skindapsis trubrii moonlight i might actually get one of these in one of those self-watering planters it's just a really nice look for me and then we have some exotic angels um, in a three and a half inch planter this one's a peperomia guinea this one is for 4.97 i do like the pink margins or the pink um out lines of the leaves it's a very nice looking plant love the variegation as well definitely requires a little bit more bright indirect light water when it's um, completely dry um, is what my plant recommendations for that peperomia you can actually find that at kroger if you have a kroger um, grocery store for a little bit cheaper you can get a bigger one for 6.99 um, here we have an end cap full of tulips that haven't been in bloom yet and then we have more plants right up here this is just absolutely massive but i forgot to pan over this right here i totally miss this there is a full in cap of costa farms hanging baskets um exotic angels so this is super super cool these are all for $19.84, so it's not a bad price at all, but there are a variety of hanging basket plants. I'm not going to try to pull all of them out, but look at this. This is probably the plant find of the hour, and this is a Hoya Compacta, or a hanging basket of Hoya Hindu rope. I would know that there are some variegated ones floating around, but look at this one. This is absolutely stunning. The only thing about Hoya Compacta or Hoya Hindu rope is I'm worried to bring one into my home just because I I did have some mealy bugs um, on some of my plants and I'm still treating them or trying to look out because can you imagine this getting like a mealy bug infestation they would be just hidden in all of the crevices of this but nonetheless this is an absolutely um, stunning Hoya compacta now plant foldies if you found this today would you buy it I was really tempted to buy it just to get a hanging basket of Hoya compacta but uh, I don't know I've, I've spent a lot of money on plants so I'm just gonna hold off on that so it, we do have this um, Hoya right over here. And I just want to pan over again. This one is a Peperomia Serpens right over here. I do love the heart-shaped leaves. They're super delicate looking. And then right over here, we have another hanging basket of, let's see what the plant ID is. Maiden, maiden Hair Fern. I'm going to pull it out. Um, maiden Hair Fern. Um, vine so that is or no the maiden hair vine i'm sorry not the fern vine this is a maiden hair vine so that's really interesting love the um the foliage right over there looks super delicate but nonetheless that's the thing i like about costa farms they definitely get you some different varieties of plants like the, this um plant right here super cute looking plant it's trailing it is a glau glauca glauca 
Ka, I guess that's what you how you pronounce it. Please let me know if I'm saying that correct in the comments or even in the live chats. But what do you guys think about this plant? This is for 1984. Do you guys actually grow a lot of hanging baskets in your um, plant collection um, indoors? Let me know in the comments or even in the live chats. I will link the Amazon um, hanging basket um command hooks that i use for my hanging baskets mind you if they do fall though don't blame that on me it just has worked for me so far and then here's another beautiful belgian waffle um plant look at that um that variegation it's absolutely stunning i love it and then right over here we have some rainbow moss i'm actually curious to see if anybody is growing rainbow moss um and then we right have right over here another type of um plant it almost reminds me of an herb but this is a hemographis hemographis um, zz waffle so there you go i like the um, purple undersides the lavender um, stems that's really nice i'm struggling to try to get these plants back up there so sorry if the the camera is moving around um i'm just <laughs> having a little difficult time so i might just place this out in front of this plant but we're gonna try attempt one more time to try to get this plant up um we, you're looking at this um purple way photonia though as i struggle to get these plants up so that's the thing about you know these end caps they really should be hanging but i guess they didn't have any more space because this place is so like packed and then right over here we have a skindapsis um um hanging basket and then another um belgian waffle plant so just a lot going on here. I do like that there is a hanging basket of the um, Fetonia Pink Wave. It's a larger leaf form of a Fetonia. And so this end cap all right over here is for 1984. So my plant foldies, um, definitely go out to your big box stores, get excited, you know, come shop with me. I'm glad that you guys are actually watching my videos. I feel like you guys are just hanging out with me and I'm just, you know, talking your ear off on all of the plants that I'm seeing, like this Hoya Compacta. That is super cool. So from all of my Hoya um, lovers, um, actually a shout out to all my Canadian viewers. You guys are awesome. And I really hope that you guys will get some more plants um, brought to you guys in your big box stores. I know it's still a little bit cold up north in Canada, but for now, live vicariously at Grow folds we always have a plant party um, during the live premieres and i do appreciate everybody that comes in and chats we saw a lot of new faces on so if you're watching this video feel free to not only smash the like button to help support this this video but also to say hello on the the chats if you're watching the live premieres um, right over here is one of my favorites this is a dracina God godsifiana um, florida beauty love the variegation of this um dracaena and it's interesting because this dracaena actually has a different type of growth it's not the typical dracaena you would see that are um kind of like bush like forms but nonetheless look at how beautiful the um the speckling of the white variegation is so casa farms it actually sends a bunch of these like shippers out to different big box stores particularly walmart and you can see right over here we have a snow white waffle plant I do love the um, very delicate looking pink variegation and undersides. That's absolutely stunning. And then right over here, we have um, another croton. This is a croton mame or mame croton with crotons and these are actually all for 497 by the way with crotons they are their coloration variegation is actually um influenced by the amount of light that they're given so just make sure you give it and then this one is a legitimate epipremnum arium pearls and jade notice that the pearls and jade has more speckling variegation versus um sectoral so some of that i feel like is mislabeled when they call it pearls and jade when it's actually an enjoy and then look at this this is super root bound for a croton gold dust it's a common croton but nonetheless i do love it the thing with crotons is they really do require a lot of a lot of light and also they can be divas if you don't if you get the watering they don't like to be watered too much and then right over here i actually am interested in getting this pan am um because i do like the gray foliage i'm all about these gray plants these silver plants these black plants i i just think collecting them would be super cool that was one that i would um, most likely get in the future if i find a fresh one and then also the um polia dark mystery polia this is super cool as well i just love the dark foliage like look at these put next to each other they could be cousins and um i do love the foliage 
foliage in the dark color so my plant folies let me know what you think about those plants and do you actually grow them what are your care tips leave that in the comments or the live premieres and like right over here we have in a snow white um, waffle plant i am very partial to that just because i really like all the colors it checks all the boxes but i do like this um, pan am polia very nice looking one um i would get it in that size i've actually been buying a lot more um costa farms exotic angels just because they are in good you know starter sizes like this fitonia white Anne is really nice i do like fitonia plants i might end up um, adding them into my collection and putting them in my lampshade terrarium setup i i haven't set it up yet i did have some plants but we will see if i will do that and then right over here we have a bush on fire croton so this one's actually interesting it does look like it's on fire i do love the red especially the red colors on this croton i know with crotons they are more of like you either love them or you hate them i'm loving them so far i used to hate them because i felt like their foliage was just a little much but i do like all the colors they're super fun and you know for the most part they can be easy to grow if you give them the right um, care conditions and that is the theme of um, just growing plants in general right care conditions a plant will end up becoming less finicky for you this one is a dracaena janet compacta it's actually one of my favorite ones just because it's always it's just got such beautiful green foliage that's for 9.97 so those are the garden expert plants that you will see at walmart and then we have a bunch of these hanging baskets right over here this is a dragon's tongue hanging basket really nice these are all for 19.84 um, I do like the delicate foliage. It's just very, um, you know, nice to texture. And then right over here, we have a, another Tritoscanthia. This one is a Tritoscanthia Red Hill, but honestly, it looks like a Tritoscanthia Nanook. Um, it just, it's just interesting how they are labeled, but I ended up getting a Tritoscanthia Nanook at Plants and Planters, and I was super excited. Definitely check out that, um, that um plant nursery tour for sure and this one i've um, seen a little while back and this one is some type of syngonium it's pink but it's got a different leaf shape about it so i don't know what kind of syngonium this is very interesting looking plant nonetheless and then we have another type of syngonium plant they call this an arrowhead plant it might be some type of like bold illusion syngonium or some type of illusion syngonium just because it has more of a rounder shaped leaf versus an arrowhead but i do love that as well i just love syngoniums they're my second favorite type of plant to grow just because they're very vigorous growers they're easy to propagate and for the most part they're easy to take care of this one is a tritoscanthia nanook so this one might actually have been labeled correctly by costa farms this one is for 1984 um, definitely love the tritoscanthia nanook especially when it has a lot of that pink variegation on it so very nice looking tritoscanthia nanook and then right over here we have a bunch of aglonema um, as you guys can tell i love aglonema this one is an aglonema red siam one of the most basic aglonemas but nonetheless it's a beautiful looking aglonema i love the pink stems um, right over here we have another aglonema i actually really want you guys to help me find the plant id for this aglonema it is absolutely stunning and what i like about it the most is not only does it have like a very minty looking um, green foliage I love the um, the white stems, just the stark white stems are gorgeous. Someone in the comments or even in the live chat, please give me the plant ID or help me find that because I really want to know what it's called. And then right over here, we have another Skindapsis, um, Trubii Moonlight. These have become very much common um, to find in big box stores. This one is for $19.84. The only drawback about the Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight is it is a slower growing Skindapsis. Actually, Skindapsis are a lot slower growing than the Pothos plants. But right over here, we have another Diphenbachia. Um, that one just needs a lot of bright indirect light. It is a little bit more spider mite prone, so just keep an eye out on that. And then we have some Dracaena Fragans Hawaii. This is for $9.97. I've shown this a lot, and I love how like Walmart always carries that particular Dracaena. So if you're looking for a beginner plant, I would highly recommend the Dracaena Janet Craig or Dracaena um, Fragans Hawaii. Those can tolerate lower light conditions. They can be underwatered and they do well and they also um, size up and grow very large um they're a little bit more moderate growing maybe sometimes slower growing actually and then right over here is another easy plant that is a zz plant and then we have another philodendron here for $14.97 in a self-watering planter that one was a birkin philodendron birkin and you can see this is some um, um 
philodendron pink princess this is by growers bench which is also wild interiors they typically source their plants to grocery stores but it's nice to see them available at a big box store like walmart and then this is a beautiful um alocasia silver dragon it has just a little bit of leaf damage it is happy though because you can see that it is blooming beautiful gray silvery leaves i really love that mine is doing well and i'm glad that it's in a self-watering planter and right over here we have another beautiful aglonema by trending tropicals this one is an aglonema golden papaya you can see it looks golden and in a self-watering planter um it's got some beautiful light pink stems i love the red um veining on the leaves there's just a lot going on with aglonema the one thing you can do to kill it though is overwatering it so make sure you don't overwater it wait till it's completely dry before you water it and then right over here we have an aglonema um not an aglonema a monstera peru that's a nice looking one i really just like the texture of the leaf um that one you can let it trail or more more so let it grow up a pole it, it will actually become even more beautiful and mature when you let it go up a pole and then right over here we have a raven's easy it's really beautiful i do love dark foliage plants um look at how beautiful that new growth is as well it's green and then we have some dracaena lemon surprise right there we'll go ahead and put back this alocasia silver dragon that's just a really nice looking alocasia beautiful indeed and it's a very easy to um, care for plant especially when it's in a self-watering planter so the guessing um, work for watering is um, kind of mitigated um, these are all for 1984 so kudos to costa farms for just releasing more plants and i'm just so excited to see all of these restocks right over here we have a alocasia pink princess or pink dragon whichever one you want to call it i love the pink stems these are for 1797 by growers bench so growers bench is releasing a lot of um what you call fancy alocasia and this is um no exception this is a beautiful alocasia and notice how the leaves are starting to really get large i love the texture of the leaves it's kind of wrinkly over there i love the white veins and even the pink stems pink stems there's just a lot going on again with alocasia you don't want to over water them just because you don't want to like um, rot the um, actual bowl but you also want to make sure that you protect it from spider mites so give it some humidifier or give it in an air put it in an area where there is decent humidity it does not like to be in dry conditions just because it is a spider mite magnet just fyi at least from my my experience it might not it might not be for some people's um, plant care cases or environments and then right over here i did want to pull this out this is a beautiful philodendron birkin as well it's so common to find philodendron birkin and it's just amazing how like it's very easily accessible now versus like three or four years ago when it was considered a rare or com you know uncommon plant and then right over here this is a common aglonema this is an aglonema maria i believe or it could be a romeo it depends it might be a romeo it just um the aglonemas can look so um common and they can just look very similar here's another beautiful calathea rose uh, rose Picta, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I apologize if I mispronounce the names, but somebody did give me the um, plant ID for that. I've been looking at this um, Calathea for a while. I actually would love to add it to my Calathea collection. So, so far I have a Calathea Macayana, a Calathea Artusifolia, and a Calathea White Star. Those are my three Calatheas in my collection. And then right over here is a beautiful um, Alocasia Milo. I do like the Alocasia Milo just because um, the, of the leaves. It feels literally like leather. It's so thick. I just can't believe that a plant can produce that. It really does feel like leather. And then right over here, we have a Monstera Stadliana or a Monstera Cobra as what Costa Farms is calling it. Beautiful looking plant. This one definitely wants to trail up a pole. Um, that's what its natural um, habitat. So, you know, growing habit. So just make sure that you you give it a pole eventually as you can see it's already looking for something to climb on i do like the variegation it's got that monstera thai constellation type variegation and then we have some more um aglonema golden papayas right over here um we have a um begonia maculata right over here another trending tropical one so with begonia maculata they're all over the place in terms of just you know what kind of health they are sometimes they have damaged leaves sometimes they're in perfect condition sometimes they're really tall and lanky sometimes they're actually a bit more compact so i'm not 
running to get a begonia maculata i would like to add one but i would definitely pick it over you know pick some more uh, um begonias over that and then right over here we have some more alocasia not 100 percent sure what this alocasia is maybe it's a black velvet um my alocasia plant foldy um, experts please let me know if i'm getting the correct plant ids i don't think it's a ninja because the ninja is way more rounded in its shape and then right over here we have a uh, alocasia cupria so this one is a little bit more uncommon to find um as even in the big box stores so i really think that that's super cool to find that growers bench actually has that unfortunately this one is a little bit damaged and you know there's some dead leaves that are happening and this one right here um is a different type of alocasia i'm going to try to pull it out in just a sec but you can see we've got some um alocasia milo right over here and it's already got some large um leaves unfurling look at that that's really beautiful yep that is the milo light these are for $17.97, these alocasia, so it's not a bad price at all in a ceramic planter. I really do like that a lot. Um, what else do we have right over here? I, there is one more that I'm seeing, and it looks actually like another alocasia sinuata. Sinuata, I think, is what it is. I actually did my research on that. It has some interesting um, colors on the leaves as well, and then that's another um, pink dragon right over there and then right over here we have an um a philodendron pink princess it's starting to look pretty damaged unfortunately but i do like this look at the stems it has like spots i thought that was like dirt spots but it's actually part of the alocasia i actually might buy this alocasia in a later time maybe in a couple of days if i visit this but this is just called fancy alocasia but i think it is a sin sinuata um alocasia look at how beautiful the leaves are i do like the leaf shape but more so look at the stems i really thought that the um the stems just had a bunch of dirt but it actually has spots so i think that's really precious and cool and i do like how it has like a marine gray sheen to it so that's there's a lot going on with this alocasia and the ones i bought from growers bench have been growing for me for about a month now and i haven't had any issues i've actually gotten some new growth um from it so i'm really excited about that and then this one right here is a philodendron white princess um, I'm a little bit saddened by the fact that its um, health is starting to decline. And then I'm looking at that alocasia right over there, that sinuata. Um, more philodendron pink princess. And this is the lone ring of fire, philodendron ring of fire. It has decent variegation. Um, and it's actually a very large size one too. So that's really nice. Um, I really hope that somebody who shops at this Walmart who loves plants just as much as we do will end up buying this plant. I would hate for it to go to waste. Like part of me wants to rescue it. But again, my plant budget is just shot off the roof. Um, I have just been buying plants left and right. I don't feel bad, but at the same time, you know, when you run out of funds, you just literally can't buy plants. So we'll just wait and see when I get paid to see if I can buy some more plants. Um, and it's also about the spacing too. Like this one right here is a philodendron white knight. I do th think that the variegation on this particular philodendron white knight is beautiful. Um, absolutely stunning and then we have some more um, plants on the bottom as you can see there are so many plants they're just jam-packed full they don't have any space for it um, I've been looking at these anthuriums again these large size anthuriums are beautiful although that's unfortunate the leaves are a little bit damaged um, at that anthurium so if you're gonna buy anthurium at Walmart be very selective because they have so many to choose from and this is the anthurium that I saw the other time and again I'm not gonna pick this up even though it is only for $14.97 I love the dark um, foliage on the leaves and look at the the blooms it's got like a different type of gradation on the blooms I really like that but I also am more of a fan of just the dark foliage the, of the new growth so that's really cool for an anthurium um, I want to add an anthurium shibori, which is a variegated anthurium. The blooms look like candy canes. So definitely check that out or Google and you'll see what I mean. But look at this. There's two of them. And this one actually is one that I would actually buy. But today I'm not. I'm going to actually have a little bit more plant restraint. But look at how gorgeous that leaf is. Plant folies, would you buy that plant? Would you buy that um, alocasia pink dragon right over here, actually? It's out of its ceramic um, 
planter. I ended up rescue one actually at another Walmart because they had them clearance for $7. So I'm actually surprised that some of these plants haven't been clearanced out for $7 just because they need to try to, you know, move some of these plants because there's so many. And then here is a traditional Aglonema. This one is an Aglonema Silver Bay. Absolutely stunning Aglonema. I love it a lot. And we have some more Philanopsis orchids right over here. You can't go to a big box store and not see a Philanopsis orchid. And there are a bunch at Walmart. Any Walmart you go to, you will see some um, orchids. And then right over here, we have some more Monstera adansonii. Um, we've got another Begonia maculata. These are all for $19.84. Um, and this one's in a self-watering planter. This a begonia maculata actually looks to be a little bit more healthy it's more bushy it's not as leggy um so that's one that if i had to buy one today i would buy that one um and that's the thing when you guys are shopping for plants a couple of things that i would suggest is number one look at the soil look at the undersides of the leaves look at the leaves if they have any type of pest that's where you would find them number two look for signs of new growth if you find signs of new growth and don't find any pests or anything of that nature, then it is a go. You obviously still want to take the plant home and spray it with like insecticidal soap or whatever pest control you have just to make sure that there aren't any going into your collection and then obviously like isolating it from all of your plants for at least a week. Um, that one that I just picked up was a Global Green Pothos, Epipremnum Arium Global Green. That one was a pothos that was actually um, discovered in Japan. It was a mutation in Japan that was actually rare. And then we have some more um, plants here. We had that Calathea and then a Sansevieria snake plant, another beautiful um, Global Green Pothos. I love the green on green variegation of Global Green Pothos. It was one that I was super attracted to three to four years ago. I ended up buying a Global Green Pothos cutting, just like a one node, one leaf cutting for $50. And here we are in 2024 um, and it's now at a, at a big box store like Walmart. So um, have no fear, guys, if you see plants that you feel like are so expensive, wait a couple years wait a year or two and you'll see that the plant prices will actually drop it's just inevitable because the way things are going now a lot of these plants could be tissue cultured and tissue culture plants are so easy to um to replicate and produce versus just the traditional propagation methods of nurseries this one actually i do like is an alocasia silver dragon i wanted to pull it out there because look at how beautiful the new growth is it's got a little bit of a neon green look and this one is labeled epipremnum arium global green but it's actually a lemon meringue pothos the reason why it's a lemon meringue pothos as you can see it has more yellowing in its variegation so that particular pothos though alongside with the global green you've got to give it a lot of bright indirect light for it to have some very like noticeable variegation because it will revert back to green or the variegation will become a little bit more subtle and that's not what you want or at least that's not what i want if i'm going to grow a global green pothos or a lemon meringue pothos same thing with this beautiful enjoy i'm going to call the enjoy even though it's labeled a pearls and jade and then right over here we have a um hoya crinosa um crimson princess i have a hanging basket of that and then we just have a bunch of beautiful um Diefenbachia right here not 100 percent sure what this Diefenbachia is some people will say that is a camille it most likely is a camille but i'm not 100 percent sure and then we have some more skin dapsis hanging baskets right here by expert gardener um that's one for 1097 that's not bad um i would just i would still end up getting a costa farms hanging basket i feel like their hanging baskets are a little bit more full lush and trailing and then we have some more um, plants with benefits which is basically the self-watering plants that costa farms has provided for um walmart and i did end up getting this beautiful plant this is a um a purple waffle plant for 497 exotic angels i have the snow white one now i have the purple one i'm looking for a belgian waffle plant in this type of size and then my collection will be complete for that and then we have another philodendron um Birkin right here. I did want to point this out. Look at how white the leaves are. I've seen this plant actually called White Measure by Mason Farms. If you um, go to Kroger, it's a grocery store. They are sourced out by Mason Farms. So it's just really interesting how different um, farms, nurseries will call a plant a different name, but it's the same plant. And then right over here, we have a bunch of large um, foliage. So if you're looking for a Dracaena that's already um, large, this one is a Dracaena Masangiana or Cane Dracaena. Um, I love that it's like got a wooden stump and it's got, has some new Dracaena shoots coming out. We have a huge Spathophyllum um, over here. 
and it's a more dracaena and these are all fairly priced they're between 19 dollars to 24 dollars so if you have a larger space definitely get one of these um, larger plants i think walmart has the most cost effective larger plants especially if you're in the hunt for like a large um, spathophyllum it's just amazing to see peace lilies get that large and the thing about peace lilies or spathophyllum like the ones that you see right over here for 24.84 they can tolerate lower light conditions so you can put it in a darker area in your your space and they will do okay like they will not die you definitely want to give it some light so just because a plant is in a, like a dark space sometimes you know you might want to move the plant and put it up against a window for a day just so it can really get a lot of that bright indirect light but for the most part like like this spathophyllum right over here on um, that large one that can grow in a lower light condition it's not going to decline in its health it just will slow down in its um growth so whenever you talk about like lower light um, tolerant plants like aglonema, sansevieria slash snake plants, um, ZZ plants. It doesn't mean that they love to grow in lower light conditions, but they can tolerate it. Um, most of the time they just end up being um, slow in their growth. Their growth is a little bit stunted. So, you know, if you put it in a lower light condition, I would just say once a week, um, put it in front of a window put it somewhere where it gets a lot of bright light um, that way it can photosynthesize because plants need to photosynthesize to create food for itself to grow so just fyi on that and then another thing is with larger leaf plants or just your plants in general you definitely need to make sure that you're cleaning the leaves like making sure that there's not a big dust pile up because if there's a bunch of dust your plant isn't really going to be able to photosynthesize as um, photosynthesize as well and you um, definitely want to do that um, so just more care tips as i walk through this massive collection of large leaf plants so this one right here is actually beautiful um, this is a monstera deliciosa and this is for 1987 or somewhere around that range and that's not actually bad at all actually no 2484 sorry about that um 2484 that's not a bad um, monstera deliciosa so if you want one that's already fairly established and large get that one at walmart um if you're not going to go shop at like a local plant nursery you can at least get some of these big box store plants the only drawback is you can see some of these plants aren't nearly um great in perfection but i did want to pull out all of the um costa farms training tropicals so we have a alocasia silver dragon that's um plant find number one um global green pothos costa farms training tropical number two that's beautiful as well. We've got a Costa Farms Trending Tropical number three. This is a Monstera Peru. Um, what else do we have for Costa Farms Trending Tropical number four? This is a Raven ZZ. These are all for 1984. And then we have a Costa Farms Trending Tropicals number five. This is a um, Skindacha Trubii Moonlight, Costa Farms um, Trending Tropical number six. This is a Monstera Cobra. Um, Costa Farms Trending Tropical number seven. This is an Alocasia Jacqueline. Um, and in Costa Farms Trending Tropicals um, number eight, this is a Lemon Meringue Pothos. Costa Farms Trending Tropical number nine, that is a Tetrasporia uh, Tetrasperma. Costa Farms Trending Tropical number 10, this is a Aglonema Golden Papaya. Tr Costa um, Farms Trending Tropical number 11, that is a Monstera Adansonii. And then finally, we have a Costa Farms Trending Tropical um, Philodendron Golden Violin. And then again, guys, these are um, 12 beautiful Costa Farms Trending Tropicals at this one Walmart location. I would say this Walmart location has nearly all of the Trending Tropicals that have been released so far. The only ones that are missing today would be the Golden Philodendron Golden Crocodile, the Philodendron... Um, um, Tortum, and then there's another um, Tradescanthia that they just recently released that will be in another video that will be in tomorrow's video I found that at another Walmart restock but I did want to pan over here can you imagine getting all these trending tropicals I definitely would love to have all of these trending tropicals in my collection the ones that are missing so far would be the Monstera um, Peru the um, what else do we have the Raphidophora Tetrasperma the um, Monstera Trubii, or the um, Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight, 
and that's basically it so i'm only really missing three of the um costa farm trending tropicals here i mean i would buy more and then i did want to pan over here so not only does this walmart have a bunch of um trending tropicals but they have a bunch of awesome alocasia like this one right here is an alocasia sinuata I actually should have bought this um, alocasia. It just has slight leaf damage and I don't mind paying full price for it because that's the first time I've seen it by Growers Bench. And then we have this alocasia um, Milo Light right over here. Beautiful looking alocasia. And all of these alocasias are um, $17.97. This one is a beautiful alocasia black velvet. We've got an alocasia pink dragon or pink princess, whichever one you want to call it. I love the pink stems on here. And we have an Alocasia Cupria, beautiful looking Alocasia. I just feel like Cuprias, though, Alocasia Cuprias are a little bit more delicate as compared to all the other Alocasias, but I did want to pan out over here. So if you are um, in McKinney, or Prosper, Texas, or in Frisco, come over to the Lake Road um, Walmart. You will see a lot of these beautiful plants. They are packed out. And look at the details of all of these Alocasia. So the ones I'm missing in this collection will be the Cupria and the Sinuata. I have the other three Alocasia in my collection. So that's the thing. I know everybody's been asking for a house plant tour. I will definitely do that. Eventually, I'm just a little nervous to show you my plants. Um, I want to make sure that they are in the best condition. And my house is in order for me to just show that to the YouTube world. Um, I want all the plant folies to definitely see that. Um, but anyways as you can see we're gonna pan out again just one last time to take a look at these plants um just really excited to see that this is a walmart that is near where i'm based at um i definitely am going to come back for the alocasia sinuata i doubt anybody's actually gonna buy those alocasias because i was here a couple weeks back when i ended up finding a philodendron golden crocodile and featuring it and a lot of these plants have still um, been here as far as their health they haven't really declined so i'm really excited that you know the health of the plants are still maintaining although there was an entire end cap full of um, Costa Farms Exotic Angel. So I don't know what happened to those plants if they put it outdoor in the outdoor patio section. I'm not going to actually go out there. I just want to stay over here and just show you how packed and full these plants are. So um, kudos to um, Costa Farms. You guys are amazing. Thank you for having all of these exotic plants available for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of uh, Walmart restock. Um, I will definitely see you on the next one. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Please don't forget to smash the like button. It helps helps me out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.